I completely agree. I, I love Greta. I think what she's done is incredible. But I think there's also a more systemic issue, which is, you know, I heard a few times at this conference Barack Obama's sentence of I have hope, blah, 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 into the youth. All of those empty statements are completely pointless. I have hope seeing people my age going into the streets, uh, fighting to be elected, fighting that? to change the system. But the issue is they're not being let in. Yes. So you have barriers to entry in most existing democracies. In the U.S., yeah. since we talked a lot about the U.S., you have to be 35 to run for president. In Italy, you have to be 65 to be president and 25 to vote for being a senator. Yeah. How is this asking us to represent the hope of future generations? We are the future. We need to be let in the room, which means concretely, you know, talking about hope and so on, my hope is that the older generation gets out and leaves the room <laughs> for me. I, listen, I, no, I'm, but, but I'm, I'm actually very serious. I'm not just being provocative. I'm very serious. There's no gaining power and there's no changing the system without having the power. And it is too easy to consistently look at us and tell us, oh, but you will make such a great world. You guys have such strong values. It's beautiful. You protest. We do, and we want the power to be able to change the system, create justice, and create hope. I don't think... This is well, right also, mm. like to say that you want to get rid of all the old as well. It's an exaggeration. I don't want to get rid of I want the barriers to entry to I'm be removed. Be you know, I think we, 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 need, we need youthful minds. It doesn't matter how old they are. We need... That's true. And now you're pleased to see you. If that was the clap for saying that we need youthful minds, that's good. Okay. okay, Robert and then Jeff Lake. Well, uh... I, I think that we were talking earlier about democracy, and I think that democracy needs constantly to be reinvented uh, because the world changes and we, need to, and we need to move on in all kinds of ways, like, for example... Democracies, you know what? I don't think democracy is a term that is so, you know, abused. Because, I don't know, it's like, really, what does democracy mean? how is it applied? You, I can tell you, in Myanmar, there are people who are dying. Uh, to try and preserve a very mediocre, flawed democracy against the military who took over nine months ago, except that they haven't succeeded, and people are dying for this. So it does mean something, but it can be made better constantly. Um, uh, well, everybody... I didn't win many much support when I mentioned at dinner last night that maybe six-year-olds should be given the vote. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, actually, because um, if, they've, if, if you did give them the vote, they would take it very seriously, more serious. Children get very serious about these things if you tell them they're actually going to have a say in running the country. If you don't like six-year-old, then maybe we could negotiate a compromise and start at nine years old. But, um, but uh, they're the future. So if you want to change the way in which governments run, give the vote to the people who... who whose future it's going to be. Um, why 18? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, because, and then people say, no, well, they'll just vote the way their parents tell them. But you show me any child that does what their parents tell them. <laughs> um, so why not? Why not think a little bit more radically? Um, uh, and anyway, there are all... We had a child for a president for four years. <laughs> <laughs> No, he wasn't a child. He was a mean child. He was a child of the corn. I get a Thunberg any day. You know, that was the Hakim in the Fatimid period, so it's like... He was 13. I have a six-year-old grandson. I like him, but I'm not about to give him the vote or uh, the chance to pick anything but his Halloween costume or something like that. I, 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 I do, I mean, as a former politician, I certainly on issues that I've held dear to my heart, immigration reform, uh, be more welcoming of refugees, for example. Those I always looked at as a Republican for the youth because they were far more supportive. I think the youth in general have fewer biases, uh, are, are less tribal. And so there's great hope coming up, gratefully. And that's this hope that we're speaking of. I think it does lie in our youth, but let's face it, if we want to move quickly on climate change, unless the youth have a way to figure out uh, how to price carbon, it's going to rely on people our age and people who are in power. No, it is. It is. The youth supports reports that have been done, supports the scientific community, and it has been widely showed through Fridays for Future and so on. 
there are many, many solutions that exist on how to price carbon, and I completely agree with you on this policy, by That's the way. That's what I'm saying, but if they're not and in they a position and you can't put them in charge and say, all right, we're going to give you the reins to Exxon Mobil. I'm not Mobile. asking you to put them in charge. I'm asking you to lower the barriers so that they can take charge themselves and change the system themselves. The issue is that there lower are too the many age. barriers to entry, yeah. systematic biases, not enough funding, and okay. so on for the youth to get into power. 12. <laughs> Make a deal on 12. Um, in in uh, America, you have to be 25 to run for Congress, 35 for, 30 to run for the Senate, 35 for president. Uh, it seems reasonably, you'd be pretty young to be a 35-year-old president. But I, I, I'm simply saying there's great hope, and, 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 and I rely on that, and uh, I favor the youth vote. <laughs> I did better with the youth than I did uh, among people uh, older than me. But... Um, if we're wanting action now, things we can't say, all right, we're going to put the youth in charge. We need to look at the power structure that's there and actually form policies that will be good. And in climate change, it's desperately needed. We need to move forward, um, but I don't think we can wait.